national champion. Keegan, congratulations. Uh, what are your emotions feeling that, hearing that? Um, I really am just super grateful. I've been saying it all week that I'm so blessed to have the people around me that I do have. And I thought in that match, I was fearless. And that's what I've been trying to achieve all tournament. And just having a loving family, loving coaches, teammates, always there for me. It feels amazing. But this isn't just me. This is everyone around me. We'll start with Kyle. Kyle Klingman, Flow Wrestling. Would you just walk us through how all this transpired? So you, you get dominated in the dual meet. You bring it to even 3-3, three, three, and then you get pinned in sudden victory, and then you have a masterpiece in the finals over a great wrestler. How did you make all this happen? Um, like I said, just amazing people around me, amazing coaches. Coach Don Bradley, Coach Maple, Brian Smith, Tyrell Todd, all my amazing training partners, Ben Askren at home, Max Askren at home. Um, I'm always getting constant feedback from you know, people that are at a higher level than me, and I think that's ultimately what led to that victory. We'll go back here, and we'll kind of work our way back over. Hey, Rachel with Intermat here. Um, so like I asked you last night, you had a second chance, the same event, or excuse me, same venue, a few more people than a couple weeks ago. Um, what's it feel like to have um, such a, a wider margin, point margin this time, and to totally come in and dominate this match? <laughs> you had a, a nice embrace afterwards. Um, so you two are, I guess, friendly competitors as well. So tell me a little bit about that and what this feels like. Uh, I think David's an amazing person, amazing wrestler. So, you know, it's just amazing to have that many high level people in my weight class. My, you know, my class was stacked this year. I had so many good guys, the three national champs, the national finalists, a bunch of really good All Americans. Um, so I'm just very grateful for the opportunity and then, you know, getting to say hi to my mom, hopefully here soon, couldn't find her. But, you know, my dad, all my teammates, um, you know, honestly, I'm just so happy for our team. And, you know, we had a great performance. So damn, so damn close to being top four. You know, it's almost heartbreaking. That was kind of bummed me out a lot. But my one of my best friends and lifelong uh, training partners that I've been with since I was a little kid, Peyton Mako, finally got it done as an All-American. So. That meant so much to me. I was warming up for my semifinals yesterday, and uh, I'm like about to walk out on the mat, and there's tears in my eyes just because he wanted blood around match. And you know, I've been with him since I was, you know, three feet tall. So it's just amazing to have so many pe great people around me. So John and then Mike. John Trenchy from Tulsa World. Just uh, if you can go through a little bit of what you have maybe learned from that, uh, like the Big 12 final, and, and what you changed, or you know, if anything. Yeah, like I said, just back in the lab. Um, I'm not perfect at all. You know, I make mistakes. I do things wrong a lot. And I think it's all about how you come back, how you adjust from those. And just like, you know, anything in life, have setbacks. Um, if you treat it right and you have the right mindset, you can always come back more. And I felt that's what I did. Uh, Keegan, I have Mike Pepper with I have a couple of questions. You're still not that old of a wrestler. Just a few years removed from high school. Why did that, those back-to-back -back losses devastate you? And, direct. and also, I want to know, when when Carr decided to go up to 65, what were your thoughts about it? So, definitely, I wasn't devastated at those losses, um, just because I'm, I love I love the challenge. I don't want anything to be easy. You know, if uh, one of our friends back home, a thrower, said anything worth a damn in this life shouldn't come easy. So I always, I always like to think of it that way. So when I took those two losses, it sucked because I hate losing, but I'm super grateful for it because I got so much better and just, you know, Time I wrestled on February 15th until now, it's March 18th. So a month and three days and I've made massive improvements in my opinion. And also when I found out that he was coming up, uh, I loved it. I love the challenge. Uh, he's a great wrestler, great competitor, great person. So I wanted to take the mat with him and I did it the most times that we could this year. I was looking at three, three times probably the dual Big 12s and national finals. And you know, I thought that was gonna happen back in October and, and it happened and now we're here. Anything else for Keegan? Keegan. Yeah, you have one. If I could have yeah. Sure. You were almost off the hook. <laughs> How do we get more people or wrestlers to embrace that mentality because we need rivalries? How do we make sure that that happens for college wrestling? That's a very difficult question because everyone's different. Everyone was brought up differently. Everyone's been around different people. Their environments are so different. But I think uh, good coaches from when you're young. Uh, you know, I've done it, I've had it the wrong way and then I've had it the right way. You know, I've had it where I've been scared of good competition because I don't want to lose and I'm scared of what's, what the outcome of it is, but um, I firmly believe that when I moved, when I moved from where I was to Aspen Wrestling Academy when I was 12 years old, uh, it changed my life. 
and I'm forever grateful to those guys. Uh, they instilled the mindset in me that I was never afraid of any challenge and to, to be able to ready to compete whenever. And that's Tiger style too. You know, believe, compete, expect to win one more. Can I get a little more? Sure. Sorry. Good. Only the fact that next will be in, the Kansas, in Kansas City, in a sense, Missouri will be like the host team to it. Um, how special could that be for you? I think it's awesome. You know, it's only two hours away, which is really nice. Uh, you know, we're hosting again, and there'll be a lot more fans, a lot more Mizzou fans, and I mean, I get to wrestle in a different venue. You know, this is back-to-back -back weekends pretty much, so getting a little old to Tulsa, and I'll be back here obviously three more times. Anything else? Thanks, Keegan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations.